guys, it's Robin, RS Island Crafts. This is Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. Starting off the new year. Kind of looking forward to it because November, December always just fly by so fast. And there's always so much to do that I never seem to feel like I can get everything done. But once we hit into January, January tends to go a little slow for me. And then it's just an average after that. Hoping to get a lot accomplished this year, so we'll see. But anyways, I did finish my December project. So this means I finished, or, yeah, I think I finished at least one project a month. Some months I did work on a big project like Robbie's Quilt, and other months I finished two or three projects. So overall it balanced out for at least 12. I haven't gone back and counted yet. But this is December's. I went ahead and just took... A couple of the fat quarters that I'd gotten recently at Joann's on sale. Just kind of chopped them up and kept chopping them and chopping them until they fit the back. So they're just randomly sewn on. And then I also used them for the binding. Since I've rearranged my craft room, I put my table apparently over into a dark side of the world. So right now... I have you on a bulletin board, an old cork board that I haven't used yet. I put this next to my sewing machine when I'm sewing a larger quilt to help hold the weight. So you're sitting on a TV tray with the, the cork board whatever table. I've covered you with some gray flannel and there you are. But it's whatever works, right? So I went ahead and finished this. In the gray, I just did wiggly squiggly everywhere. In the gray, I just used a medium gray to match. And then in all the fun colors, I went and I found an orange that I had that looked really good in it. And just like I said, I just went ahead and free motioned each section at a time. You can kind of sort of see the orange on the back. It's like a little bit of a surprise. It's fun. I normally do everything in one color, and I don't normally do anything in sections or anything. So even though it's just free motion everywhere, it was kind of fun to just kind of quarter and everything off and do it a little bit differently. As you can see, this is the gray binding, the same binding from around the back. I did not quite have enough, and I did not want to cut into yet another fat quarter and only use a little section of it. So I found this gray that I had, and it just pops up in a couple places. But it's kind of fun. I got it out of my scrap bin. One of the different things I did this time is I went ahead and I sewed the binding on by machine. I sewed it to the back first and then brought it around to the front. I think next time I will use, I went with my normal two and a half inch binding just because I don't want to mess with it. Next time I think I'll go more to maybe a two and an eighth is what I heard works good. Because as you can see, like I really don't care on this wall hanging and it's gray in the back, but none of the stitches, they're way off from the binding. But it's just a simple buttonhole. Uh, I, I did pretty good most of the time. Some of the times I got a little bit onto the binding, but it's just going to take practice. Buttonhole is one of my favorite stitches anyways, whether it's by hand or by machine. So I think that turned out really well, and I think I'm going to try that a few more times. I just had to learn to go a little slower. Stay a little close to the edge without going onto the edge, but overall, I really enjoyed it. While these colors aren't my favorites, it's not something I would normally pick out. I'm not much of a fall color person, greens and oranges. I really kind of like this quilt. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might just hang it up in my room. Now, the only thing else that got worked on consistently is my knitted miter square blanket. I ended up putting 34 squares, well, 34 and a half on it in December so I'm really kind of excited about that it still has a lot to go of course just to even square off this one section it's definitely gonna need some soaking and blocking I don't know if I'm gonna do that before I get to the next sections but it's it's not squared off and it's okay because all the yarns are of a different weight even they're all sock weight some are thinner and some are thicker I tried to add some extra bright colors in and some solids here and there just to balance off some of the darker ones the only reason I got so much done on this is because I decided to do the one square a day like everyone was doing, but because I know how my day goes and by the end of the night I'm usually too tired and sometimes I fall, well, most nights I'll fall asleep sitting in my chair knitting or reading or whatever. 
so I decided to do it early in the morning. I'd switched over from reading books on my Kindle to do an audiobook so I can get one square done each morning while I'm listening to a audiobook. And that worked out pretty well, obviously, since I got so many squares done. I'm going to have to work really hard on this for a little bit, and then once it starts to get warm about in April, I'll have to put it away because a whole wool blanket like this of yarn is going to be way too heavy to sit on my lap during the Florida summer. Just to give you an idea of what's coming up next, this is the next bag of balls that I, uh, mini skeins of yarn that I decided to go into my blanket. I was setting them out. I did a bag of 31 for October, November, and December. Yeah, I know November didn't have 31, but hey, it's a bonus one. And these are what's left over from, this is November's because I didn't actually work on it much in November. So since I used up December's, I had to go to something. There's some really pretty ones. I would love to get a pair of socks made out of this. Then I had a friend on Facebook ask me to make a specific hat for her. Let me see if I can pop up a picture here for you. So she just like, they, they tend to just say, hey Robin, can you make me this? So then I try and try and try. I believe I ended up taking this apart either just the ear flaps or on Sunday morning, I had five inches of the hat done, and I'm at about five inches now, and I had to tear the whole thing out except for the ears and start all over because the hat was way too big. So basically, I've knit this hat twice, and she's going to get the, the same color yarn. We'll make the pom-poms on both of the ears and on the ear flaps, and then she wants the kitty cat ears made out of the same yarn. So hopefully she'll like it. She's really into purple. It's cute. It's just a lot of work because it's a seed stitch. And with the seed stitch, you're instead of just knitting round and round and round like this, you have to knit and then bring everything forward and purl and then knit. And it just takes a lot more on the muscles and it takes me a lot longer to make something like this. So it's been going a little bit slow. But I'm hoping to have this done maybe in the next couple days. I'd like to say today, but I know I want to do other things. I spent all day knitting on this yesterday. Well, not all day, on and off in between doing other things. So, you know, it's like it's it's an obligation thing. I don't. I really love making things for people. And, of course, you know, I, I love selling things in my shop. But once you have to make something... I don't know how you guys are, but once I have to make it, then I feel, it's like, I don't want to work on it. I want to do what I want to do. I, I want to rebel and just do all the fun things. But it'll be done soon. I did work a little bit on my hexes. Don't you just love that sound? And I, I finished... I finished basting all of my red and blue ones that I had in the bag and then I went ahead and got my white ones ready because I'm going to be putting some flowers together and then making some paths just to show how I do that on my videos. So that's about it. So that was my whip parade for this month. It's, it's you know, it's December. It's kind of feeling like meh. Now next month, I definitely want to get back into... Now I'm hoping... In the next week, I'm really, really, my plan for this week is to go ahead and pull out the fabric and start cutting some of the pieces out for at least the one rare bear that I have the feet for. I have to order snaps for my son Robbie's hoodie because instead of a zipper down the front, he wants him to snap. So I have to order gray fab, um, I have to see if I can find gray snaps or black snaps on Amazon for my cam snap set. And then I need to work on my daughter. So I'm thinking about going ahead and just getting all theirs, their hoodies, at least my daughter's hoodie cut out today. And then we'll see what happens. Here's to a happy crafty new year. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.